Bypass Publishing presents Psychology in the Fast Lane, Difficult Topics Explained, Biological Bases of Emotion. Imagine watching a scary horror movie at home when the power suddenly goes out and there's a mysterious bump at the door. Such an event might elicit an emotional response like fear. One aspect of emotion includes physiological responses such as a racing heart rate and the hair standing up on the back of your neck and things like that. Usually, these physiological responses are not voluntary because we don't consciously think, I want my heart rate to increase. The autonomic nervous system controls these involuntary physiological reactions to stimuli in the environment. Specifically, the sympathetic division of the autonomic nervous system releases hormones such as epinephrine and norepinephrine to cause a fight or flight response. During fight or flight, we may experience increased heart rate, blood pressure, sweating, and breathing to name a few physiological symptoms as we prepare to either battle for our lives or run away as quickly as we can. The sympathetic division of the autonomic nervous system allows the brain to direct the rest of the body. Within the brain, there are several brain areas involved in how we experience emotion. One important set of brain structures is the limbic system. The limbic system includes a number of structures such as the amygdala, hippocampus, hypothalamus, and regions of the cerebral cortex. The hippocampus is heavily involved in memory formation, and the hypothalamus serves to regulate motivated behaviors such as hunger and thirst. Research suggests that the amygdala is involved in assessing and interpreting situations to determine what emotions are appropriate and it serves to connect these interpretations to the regions of the brain responsible for stimulating action.